Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Mitchell, aka Kerm Martian, and this is an unboxing and teardown of an unreleased TI-84 Plus CE prototype. A week ago, Mr. Womp Womp posted on Chemitech about new TI-84 Plus CE colors that had never been seen. Cross-posting information by Crytor on TI Planet, taken from an eBay posting for six new colors, unreleased calculators that had been found and were for sale. These calculators, in teal and dark teal, salmon and light salmon, and a green and blue rendition, were colors that had not been previously sold. I have three TI-84 Plus CEs, a red from 2015, and gold and white calculators that were both made in 2016, but I have never seen these new colors. My calculators each have OS 5.3, so I was particularly interested to see what the software and hardware on these unreleased calculators was. Today, I received this package containing my new dark teal TI-84 Plus CE. I'll grab my hobby knife, and if I cut open this package, you'll see that inside we have a calculator, a charging brick, and a cable. Since this calculator did not come in retail packaging, we just have it in a bubble wrap envelope here. It has a dark teal side case and a white back. You can see it has the usual Texas Instruments with logo embossed on the cover, and it has a semi-gloss sheen to that dark teal cover. This is a standard mini USB cable, nothing interesting there, and a standard 5 volt USB charging brick that we could use to charge the calculator. Of course, it can also be charged from a standard phone brick, from your computer, or from any other source that gives you USB power. The calculator is pretty attractive. If we slide off the slide case, you can see the inside is even better. We have this really attractive metallic, semi-shiny faceplate. We also have a white border around the screen that looks very nice, and a dark teal, very glossy plastic border around that. The calculator starts up for the first time, verifies its OS, and shows us the usual splash screen that always shows up after you reset a calculator. And you can see it has OS 5.4.0.0034 a very recent operating system, in fact, the most recent one that's available. I compared this calculator's boot and base code to my other calculators, and you can see it's by far the newest, although I should say that I haven't updated my TI-84 Plus CEs in over a year. I reset the defaults because I want to show you what the graphing speed looks like. On each of these calculators, I'll enter the same equation to be graphed, 3 tan of x to the cosine of x. Let's see how they stack up. The dark teal sets a fast baseline, 4.72 seconds. The much older red hardware is much slower. I measure about 11 seconds for this graph. The white is equally slow. You can see it graphs at roughly the same speed as the red calculator. I measured 11.44 seconds for this, but that's certainly within the margin of error of being the same. And finally, the gold calculator. The same speed, about 11 seconds. And because I reset defaults, I checked that the detect asymptotes was the same for all of these, that they had the same resolution, they're set to the same window, etc. Here are the applications that come pre-installed on this new calculator including the Hub app necessary to connect to the TI Innovator platform. Of course, it wouldn't be an unboxing video without a teardown. Let's take a quick look at how this calculator looks in more detail. Physically, it has the white back and the front that I talked about earlier. Notably, it has no serial number and no manufacturing date, but it does say not for resale in very faint etching underneath that main area. You can see that glossy, plastic bezel that I talked about, and the semi-glossy dark teal faceplate that I think is very attractive. The slide case is what we come to expect from a TI slide case, just in this new dark teal color. Now let's get to that teardown. Here's our dark teal calculator, and if it's anything like the TI-84 Plus CEs that I've taken apart in the past, I'm going to need a Torx 6 screwdriver a Phillips screwdriver, and first I'm going to have to take apart the calculator's battery cover and take out the battery. Here I am popping out the battery. You can see it's a standard 1200 milliamp hour TI calculator battery. 
This is used in a few other electronic devices, but nothing that's made anymore. Now, there's two more Phillips screws and six Torx 6 screws that I have to take care of. I'll start with the Torx 6 screws. This has been the case since the TI-83 calculator, these same Torx 6 screws. And now I also have to take out these two more small Phillips screws underneath the battery. Pop off the slide case, and let's see if I can lever this off. It's going to be tough because there are little plastic latches that hold the two halves together. I don't want to snap those latches. So I'll give it another quick try. Nope, too tough. I'm going to use my spudger for this. So I have these little plastic spudgers over here with very thin edges that I can slip between the two halves and just sort of lever apart very gently. There's one clip. There goes another clip. And this whole side is free now. Give that a quick try to see if it's free enough. Nope, do the other side as well. Just got to get it in the slot there, and then I can pop open that tab pop open that tab and then run it along the edge here. Perfect. And here is the inside of our calculator. It has a big silver anti-static shield there. So if I put the back cover to the side, we can see that almost all of the internals here are covered from the LCD at the top to the main board at the bottom. If I gently peel that away, including unhooking it from where it's underneath the foam behind the screen, we can expose the main ASIC containing the calculator's EZ80 CPU, RAM, bus arbitration logic, and USB controller. There's a separate flash chip on this as well. You also might have noticed, if you look carefully, that there is an unpopulated pad for an extra integrated circuit, a microcontroller that's used on some of the newest calculators in the Python edition or edition Python series to provide Python support. If I hook that shield back on, we can put this calculator right back together. First, snap the cover on, and those little plastic latches will engage. And I'll go all around the edges to make sure I get that firmly on. We can now reverse the disassembly process in order to put it back together. We'll start with those two small Phillips screws that go underneath the battery. And once we've put those back in, we can reattach the six Torx screws at the four corners and those two middle locations. With those tightened, I'll put the battery back in, making sure I get the polarity correct. Put the battery cover back on and resecure its two Phillips screws. And with that, good as new. Calculator is back on. RAM has been cleared since we removed the batteries, but I now have another brand new calculator. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you get your own prototype TI-84 plus CE, or your own Revision M calculator. I hope you find that it's as fast and as performant as this one. If you have any questions or comments, please post down below in the comments. And of course, do those things that YouTubers always tell you to do, like, comment, and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.